Oh, I didn't want flagged. Good morning. I want to read it. It's a gray morning in February, and um, it is time to make some art. Um, I have this piece that I have been wanting to work on for a while. Um, and uh, I've been wanting to do a, a series of queens. So um, I have a very large amount in the lake. It, it, I, I see this as limited only to my imagination. And by queens, I don't mean actual historical queens. I sort of mean concepts of queens. And they're all going to be a little similar in the pose, um, but they are going to be uh, different concepts. So to start off with, uh, this is Dan rolling dice in our living room, along with this backdrop, which is what I really need is this, black, is this backdrop here. Um, so I am going to get this into, oops, um, bring this into Photoshop, add it in Photoshop 2017. Ooh, yeah, okay. I was playing around with something and I forgot to shut it before I started. So I'm gonna actually do that right now no and oh no um so uh let's see so this is going to be my background and you can see it's horribly tilted uh, and I actually do clear. I want this to be square. And I'm going to bring this in a lot tighter. So my idea is making a Queen, I'm looking for my horizon line here. It looks pretty, pretty straight. Um, and let me see what my size is. Uh, 18 inches. Uh, okay. Um, I think I'm going to make this a little bit bigger. And I'm going to do it in blow up. Uh, you try it. I really do have to get that set up. That's my bad. Uh, I'll keep it at 240, but I'm going to make it 24. Oops. 24 by 24. Okay. Again, I don't mind using blow up that much. Um, because it's, um, it's going to be the background. It doesn't have to be, uh, as, uh, yeah, I'm really sorry, Rocksmith game. That was, um, but if you sit in front of my camera, you're going to be on my, my in my photos. And I think I do have a a uh, model release signed by you and if I don't that's going to be one of the first things you do today and everybody that's here wish Dan uh, a happy birthday because it's Dan's birthday um, all right so I need to make a decision about whether I want this to be very big and blocking out most of the image or if I want this to be um, less big and then have to do something behind it. Um, and I'm having a uh, uh, 
I want to keep this this whole series. I've decided I want to keep square, so I know. I think I'm going to put a background behind it. I haven't quite decided what that background is yet, so that's going to be that's going to be interesting. I'm going to do color wash for right now. So I'm ooh, making this layer a zero, so that means I can put stuff behind it. Oops. Sorry about that. Um. And I'm going to start uh, doing a clipping path. Uh, I'm going to do a little tuck in here. Sorry, I really, I just realized I hadn't been talking. Um, just following this, I'm doing the clipping, my clipping path with a pen tool, uh, just because I like it that way. Uh, if I change my uh, mind about I don't know uh, the fact that it's round or the fact that I have a background. The background, I can save it kind of in a way. Um, and that's going to be different. So it doesn't really, like the, the way the background is made up, I know I want it to be square. Uh, the whole series is based on a uh, square image cause, and, and a very repeatable image. It's sort of weird to say that I want this to be something that's going to be very similar, but it's the it is the differences in the similarities that is going to be important for this series for me. Um and uh I you know decided when Bella was over and we were shooting all the sports stuff, I thought, you know what? I want to shoot her for this queen series and i hadn't thought about it at the beginning i just sort of got a vibe and i'm like you know what i want to do i don't want to do a princess and she's definitely still a queen and that's going to be important when we work on it later uh or when we work on her part of the image later because this is the background um that you know i want it to be the queen of childhood which is not a you know an actual thing it's a um it's a concept you know it's um it, but it's not it's different than a princess i think a princess very specifically is um younger there's a more juvenile quality to it there's um often a need to be rescued you know it's you often you know, it's a princess in the tower, or a princess that has been kidnapped, something like that. Um, but when you talk about queens, there's a a gravity to it. Um, and that is, um, the important part is that, that gravity, that, um, that feeling of, um, depth, you know, and control and not being, um, sorry, no, nope. all right, I guess I'm just past where I can, you know, I need to do that, um, you know, being, being in control and not being, you know, held by destiny, at least this is the, you know, there are some physical queens that are like that, but a lot of them, you know, are still controlled by politics and other stuff, you know, it's, I'm, I'm a huge history buff, and uh, very few rulers of any kind can just do whatever they want. Um, you know, either they are 
actually trying to do what's best for their kingdom or the uh, the people of their kingdom have forced them to actually care about doing the right thing for their kingdom. Um, but uh, it's funny because I've been planning this series for it's been in incubation for probably about um, oh nine months oddly um, but I decided that I wanted to work on a new series and I wanted to give myself some time I didn't want to rush it uh, I wanted to like fully come up with the concept and then also you know come up you know I'll be doing other things in between but um it's you know something that I've I've wanted to do for a while and um you know this being you know it's odd that this is the first one because it wouldn't necessarily be the first one that I would choose to do but it's the first one where I got all the pieces together so once I got Bella um that picture of Bella because she was over here for another reason another shoot uh, then I started thinking about well if she is the queen of childhood what does that mean you know how how does that represent it um, you know is it I didn't want her necessarily to be pretending to be a queen but I decided uh, that I wanted her crown to be made of gold paper instead of metal or any anything physical so I actually spent an afternoon crafting crowns out of paper um, I came up with two that I liked and I have to make the call about which one will be the actual one because I, I shot her with two and um, you know one of them will probably be will be the right one and uh, we'll see I have a opinion on what that is but um, The um, other thing is, what would her crown or what would her throne be made out of? What will her, um, you know, the background be? What are the elements that mean childhood? Uh, and I came up with the idea of uh, wooden blocks being a main part of her throne and being made up mainly of that uh, I cut slightly inside just because I um, when I'm using the pen tool I, I cut slightly inside of where I'm going if I can do it right on the edge I do but it's kind of hard and I'd rather have it not get the actual edge of the, um, the thing because I don't want to usually it's not going to be as much of a case with this because it's uh, wood on wood and I'm going to be putting it on something that the floor that I'm going to be using I think um, although I may not be able to use that floor is very similar um, pull you in a little bit so um, it's not as big an issue but if I was cutting somebody off of white and they were wearing a dark color any little spot of white that you saw is gonna really be very obvious so I am going along here and oops that is a rounded edge so I'm gonna have to not hit the windows tool so often uh, and I have to hold it here and then I can pull it slightly but there we go all right Uh, like I just recently switched uh, inverse. Um, oh, actually, you know what? Select. I'm gonna inverse it again, and because I am doing this here, I can just say yay. 